In this video, we're going to discuss what to do when you reach your Airtable record limits. This is Max Bernstein with Industry Automations. We make custom Airtable databases for the music industry. Let's dive in. Maybe you just got alerted that your record limit has been reached. So if you're on the pro plan and you reach that 50,000 record limit, then you need to know what to do. So I'm going to dive in to the base that I use to run my marketing agency. And we have a table called tracking, which essentially it's like a reconnaissance view a reconnaissance table for thousands of TikTok sounds. So you can see in the lower left here, there are 7,143 records in this table. Now, if my base only is allowed 50,000, then at some point we've got to maintain and purge some of these things. So the method that I'm choosing in this case is to sort the records by ones that I believe are irrelevant, archive them as a CSV, and then delete. And that's what we're going to do. So we have some columns across the top number of videos, number of videos changed for the last seven days, um, aggregate video count, aggr stuff like that. So f first let's try to sort it or filter it by that video's number where we're less than, let's start with, I don't know, a thousand. Boom, 4,799 tracks are less than a thousand. Let's see how many are less than 2,000. 2,000, we get almost all of them. 5,269. So before I go ahead and just purge all those, I'm going to um, add another condition that says where the seven day percent change is, let's say, less than, I don't know, 2%. And that's 4,000. And then let's just say 3%. And let's just say 4%. All right. So if I'm less than 4%, and let's sort these in that way. So we've got videos. Let's go 9 to 1 on the videos. And let's go 9 to 1 on the 7-day percent change. Then I've got all records where the total number of video creations are less than 2,000. And the 7-day percent change is less than 4,000. I'm going to click over here, click on the view itself, hit download as CSV, wait till that's done, click that again, double click here, delete all selected tracks. So 4,123 records are going to be deleted now that they've been archived as a CSV to my hard drive. And there you go. That's the recommended approach. If I ever, for any reason, needed to bring those that information back into the base, I could just upload it back from the CSV. But I think we're good. I think that's all we're going to need. Thanks a lot.